I'm Jeff Vogel at the Coral Springs Museum of Art. Jill, this has got to be an exciting night for you. This is a very exciting night. It's been years in the making. Mm. And to be at the Coral Springs Museum is first my first museum show and a show that showcases work that I've done for many years. Yeah. And in particular, you're showing off some of your most recent work. Exactly. And I span about seven different series of work yeah. that's shown here, from very atmospheric work to more geometric styles, and then, of course, my signature swirl style of paintings, which show a lot of texture and color. Why do you do this? It's my greatest passion. It's something that I did as a child, on and off through my life. And since I left the corporate world, I've now dedicated my full time to building my art practice. Can you remember as a child some of the artwork that you did? Absolutely. Do you have any of it? I you? do have oh, some of my, wonderful. yes. Yes, it dates back to when I was 10 to 12 years old. Oh, you should, you should have brought that with you to well, this exhibit. Well, there are some images of that in yes. a video that's playing oh, in the back fantastic. room. Fantastic, excellent. And a lot of that work was me copying masters like Monet, Van Gogh. Those were artists that I revered as a child. And you still revere them. A absolutely. Because you, you incorporate a lot of that stylistic messaging into your paintings. Absolutely. B between the color and the atmosphere, I love landscapes. I love, and landscapes come out in lots of different ways, from dreamscapes to Shangri-La style paintings to Aurora Borealis. So it's really a passion of love. Your latest work inspires the viewer to want to get their hands in it. Absolutely. I tried to incorporate more and more texture in the work that I do to give a 3D feeling. And the swirl paintings are ones that really give that feeling. Like Dance of the Caterpillar, which is one of the key f works in the show. You can see the texture is very intense and it captures an Alice in Wonderland feel. Of all the series that you've done, do you have a personal favorite? They're all a part of me, and yes. they all continue to grow. Yeah. So even though geometrics was a style that I first started with, because I have a very analytical mind, <laughs> and a lot of my work started in a geometric fashion, I still do those even today, in a new spin, in a new way. So You, you have transformed the Coral Springs Museum of Art into a harmonious garden in here. Thank you. That's a beautiful you, way to describe it, thank you. You feel surrounded by beauty, but there's a, a gentleness to the beauty a, a, and a gentleness to your art. Is that intentional? You know, it's, it's, a pl it's a quiet place and it's a place I reflect on all the joyful things that I've done through my life and peaceful places that I imagine I can be, like Shangri-La. So, absolutely, I love to paint things that are happy, that make me feel good. Also, partly, having a very tough career on Wall Street, having a place to now, you know, just disappear and yeah. enjoy painting. They're, they're on, on opposite sides of exactly. the kind of electricity level, aren't they? Exactly. So I'm now in the very, you know, harmonious moment. So, so many people that appreciate art enjoy that sense of tranquility that you're able to put on canvas. That's what I aspire for, to really try to emulate what it would feel like to have a tranquil, happy, peaceful place. Congratulations on the show. Thank you. Good luck with it this evening and throughout the run of the, of the show. It's Thank you absolutely so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you.